Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. So this one is 7.4.6 again, and it's coming up to the final few paths now for exploration of this. So we're gonna do this path that has the six star shards on here, and this happens to be a paradox one. So it's paradox special, so when either uh, defender or attacker throws a special attack, a paradox charge is granted. The entropic burn talks about attacker power burning when the uh, special is thrown, and until you get three paradoxes, you have a constant concussion active on you. So you can't have your full ability increasing. When the attacker uh, does a parry, so a wall time block, you then lose a paradox charge. So this is the way to uh, manage to ma maintain them. So you don't hit the 12 and you hit the cap. But realistically, you want uh, some you want to be able to have like I'd say like five to six probably the most. But anyway, I got caught there with a little dash back. Um, then through this special two, so I'm now on two paradox, and I believe it's somewhere around here. I mess up. I it wasn't quick enough on the heavy attack, which is weird because I do that all the time in the queue. So I get them to throw a special here. And then uh, it's here, so I refresh the, the concussion and that quickly. I get four paradox. And now I'm, I'm free to do one parry. Uh, now it's two parries. But you can see that that's the way this fight is now going to go. Lost a little bit more health than what I would have liked, but these things happen. Um, next up is Doctor Doom versus this Scarlet Witch. So I use Doctor Doom just to start getting the initial ramp up now. I'm trying to save Human Torch as I, uh, where I can, just to save him for the, the boss. And as you can see, because the concussion is active on Doctor Doom right now, I didn't get a shock the first couple of times that I tried to do that. So where I can, I'm just gonna try and maintain Scarlet Witch's power. Special one every so often from her is fine. Uh, there I accidentally caught parry, so I, I lost all of my uh, paradox that I just gained. So that was a little bit frustrating. And now she has her instability. So this means that she can pop buffs on either champion, add some debuffs, and it's a little bit of a nightmare. So I'm just gonna try and maintain this fight a little bit better. Basically, it's just going to be a Doctor Doom, and even if you do a Doom Cycle, it doesn't really fully work on this node, and you'll see it a few times throughout this path.
So one of the reasons why I wanted Doom ramped up was for these next three fights, really. Um, so this Korg here, obviously Doom won't take any of the Fawn's damage back from Korg. So it's a pretty safe counter. And just managing Paradox and his special and my power, this fight isn't really a struggle whatsoever. Walker here so again not really a fight that I I'd class as a struggle sort of thing um, he's just pretty easy all around as long as he doesn't just keep natural power gaining all the way up to a special three but that's gonna be stopped because of Doom's abilities and also because whenever I throw a special it will power burn so that really shouldn't ever happen something's gone seriously wrong if that does happen the only bad thing that comes out of this fight if I, is I do end up getting the, uh, the crossfight on Doctor Doom. But apart from that, it's, it's not too bad.
at this point now we're just on to Sorcerer Supreme and you're going to see in a second the Doctor Doom when I click on him has two cross fights so one's the Dark Tide that's now come from Airwalker so that's unfortunate but it's not really the, the most damning sort of cross fight in the world unlike like Mr. Fantastics or something like that his is a lot more harsh but again this is just going to be a control of power now <laughs> Sorcerer I don't know why it was it just it must have just been weird timing but every time she threw a special attack, it, it seemed to be whenever she was in um, this uh, icon's inequity, and she just constantly uh, kept slowing me. So that was a uh, that was good fun. It prevents Doom from getting his aura, and uh, yeah, makes the go drag on a little bit longer. But I'm pretty sure it was no longer than like 100 and something hits. The final fight for this path is Blade. Uh, obviously going to use Apocalypse for this. You could use Doom as well, but I just enjoy using Apocalypse. I've used him through pretty much all of Act 7, I think. Now I think about it going through all the uh, all the Act itself. I've probably used Apocalypse more than anyone. Well, it'd be close anyway. I wish I recorded back then so I would have been able to actually go back and have a look. But he seems to always be in the, in the team, he's a bit of a go-to champion. And um, and yeah, so this is just going to be an apocalypse fight, and you're going to see it's just pretty straightforward. And I prefer to bait Blade special ones if I can, but if he throws a special two, it's not the end of the world. Apart from that, this is the final fight on the path. So the second to last path, which is what this is, has now been done. I've even just done the, uh, the Kang boss. So I'll, uh, I'll sort of end this video now. Again, thank you very much for all the subscribers and stuff recently. Uh, the support's been incredible. And if people are enjoying the content and they want to see more, then uh, please subscribe and I'll, uh, I'll carry on trying to do what I can. Thank you very much.